Selling Sunset is all about the fabulous cast and their lifestyles as the rich and famous, but they haven't always been all glitz and glam since day one. Again, no <laughs> one say anything. Christine. Queen Bee Christine's glow up is dramatic, but did we expect anything less? I just want to work on her style a little bit. She was born in Dallas, Texas, and moved to LA to pursue modeling and acting. Christine's Instagram is pretty scrubbed of older pictures, but the internet never forgets, honey. Oh my god, that's so exciting. Prior to entertaining the real estate game, she went by Christine Bentley, and her headshots are almost unrecognizable. Before the show went big, Christine had a very good relationship with all the other girls in the Selling Sunset cast, especially Mary. Now, not so much. But you didn't have my back. Oh, I had your back at the pool party a year ago, and you didn't have my back. With a net worth of $1.5 million, we'd say she's doing pretty well. Chris Shell, From rags to riches, once homeless to now having a net worth of $5 million, fun fact, she was born Tarina Chriselle Staus, but goes by her middle name, which originated from the day of her birth. Her mother was getting help with her car at a Shell station, and the attendant there was named Chris. Before joining Selling Sunset, Chris Shell was a famous soap opera actress on All My Children and Days of Our Lives. When we met Chris Shell in season one, her look was cute and more modest, and after her very public divorce from This Is Us star Justin Hartley, she seemed to return to season two with a vengeance. Mary. Mary was born in South Dakota, but attended Ball State University in Indiana and has previously lived in New York and London working in real estate. She's been friends with Amanza for years and also dated Jason Oppenheim before the show started. She is now married to Frenchman Romain. Before she joined the Netflix reality series, Christine and Mary were thick as thieves. But as the show went on, Mary's new budding friendship with Chriselle put a rift between them and they are no longer friends. You disrespected me. You weren't loyal to me. I think Chriselle is right about you. Mary's style has stayed pretty consistent on the show with her blonde bob becoming her signature look. She's worked for the Oppenheim Group for 10 years and in season 5 was promoted to vice president. She is estimated to be worth $1 million. Heather Before selling real estate, Heather was a Playboy Playmate and Miss February 2010. But before Hollywood fame, the Cali native used to be a Pilates instructor. She has had some minor TV and film roles as well. Now, she is married to HGTV star Tarek El Moussa. According to CelebrityNetWorth.com, she is worth $3 million. Her fortune includes money she makes from Selling Sunset, Instagram-sponsored posts, and her real estate dealings. Emma The Boston native started her career as a model and became Miss Coed in 2015. She was reportedly helping to finance her family's business by the age of 17. She's also the founder of the plant-based frozen food brand Emily & Co. My goal is, you know, to create an empire. A food empire, a real estate empire, an Emma empire. <laughs> and while Emma's Instagram is pretty glam as far back as it goes, in the name of comparing the past to the present, it's worth noting that she did rock what appears to be a take on the Rachel back in 2016. Emma is reported to be worth around $3 million. Maya. Glimpses at Maya's life pre-selling Sunset are very rare. Born in Israel, she described her upbringing as happy but not a very luxurious one. She moved to LA in 2002. She decided to pursue real estate because her family has a history of investing in properties and flipping houses. Maya is now worth $1 million and owns her own online real estate course and has relocated to Miami full-time. Davina Before she struggled to sell $75 million compounds on Selling Sunset, Davina Portraz was born and raised in Germany. Before selling real estate, she was a model and worked in the entertainment industry. She was signed to the Ford Model Agency for over a decade and has done campaigns for brands. She was also a series regular on Bravo's Million Dollar Listing. She's taken the glam game up a few notches since shooting to stardom. According to US Weekly, she's been dating someone named Alex for a few years, but all pictures of them together on Instagram have been deleted. Nowadays, she is single and reported to be worth $2 million. Amanza Indiana girl Amanza has been a successful model and worked in entertainment. She was even an NFL cheerleader for the Indiana Colts. In 2010, Amanza married former NFL player Ralph Brown. The pair had two children together and divorced two years after marrying. She and Mary had been friends since their Indiana days. Oh my god, we're so old. <laughs> As of 2020, Amanda Smith was worth $1 million, according to Cinemaholic.
She previously worked as an interior designer staging homes before getting her realtor license. Vanessa. Vanessa was born and raised in Mexico City. I'm so excited and blessed to be surrounded by successful realtors. That Before starting her career in real estate, she starred in Mexican TV. By the looks of Vanessa's Instagram, it seems she's seen quite a transformation since 2013. She joined the cast in season four and is tied with Chriselle in racking up one of the highest net worths of the women on the show. According to Bustle, Vanessa is worth about $5 million. Chelsea. Newbie Chelsea is from London and has worked as a realtor for five years. She grew up in London and earned a BA in economics and a master's in oil and gas economics. She's got her master's degree. Impressive. I got my MRS degree. I've never heard of that. Chelsea has been married to businessman Jeff Lescani since 2017, after they met on Tinder when Chelsea moved to America. She's worth about $500,000 according to OnTrend.News. Jason and Brett. Before becoming real estate agents, both Brett and Jason were big lawyers. Jason Oppenheim joined his great-great-grandfather's Stern Reality Co. and rebranded it as the Oppenheim Group. Now, together, the two are worth a whopping $50 million. Fans have already seen plenty of Jason's new relationship with agent Chriselle Staus in the new season, who have since split, but we've also had a glimpse into Brett's relationship with now ex-girlfriend Tina Louise, who got together and broke up in 2021. Who do you think had the most drastic glow up? Let us know in the comments and stay up to date with the things reality for all the latest reality TV gossip by hitting those like and subscribe buttons.